What is going on, everyone? Well, guess what time it is. It is time to test out the old trusty mystery tackle box. And they have sent me a very special one called the Elite Box. They didn't send me any Elite Boxes last year. So now I'm excited that I get the Elite Box this year. So anyways, pretty cool deal. Tackle subscription, Mystery Tackle Box. This video is obviously sponsored by them. So we're gonna have some fun with that. We are here in Florida, I'm with Hillary, and we're gonna open this box up? up. We're gonna see if we can't jack up some donks on what's in this box. Let's take a peek. Oh yeah, look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff, guys. Okay, here's what we have in the box for today. We have a swim bait. That's right, a little Weston. A little swim bait, uh, uh, hip, hippotees, a hippotees. I guess I'm pronouncing that right. I think I can catch one on that. I really, I think I can catch one on that hill. Look, oh, yeah? look at a little swim bait. Wow. I think that'll happen. I think that'll happen. Okay, yeah. we'll do that maybe in a minute. All right, we got a pack of hooks in here, a little Lunker City hooks, which is pretty cool. Bruiser baits, okay. This is a, a soft plastic company that is poured down here in South Florida. We will definitely catch something on that. I promise you that. Okay, here's a couple little things that were, you know, like some little notes and stuff now this is just a big finesse worm pretty cool not sure i bet we could probably catch one on that as well and of course one of my favorite the slim shake that's in this month's box that's pretty cool slim shake in the elite box that's a good idea oh yeah look at little mr carl himself oh yeah mr carl mm -hmm. we've got more hooks some little three aught ewgs which is cool now that is a pretty cool sticker right there i will have to say that is a cool sticker. I'm going to be putting that on the boat here shortly. And then the one of the last items, missile jigs, pretty cool. I think we can probably catch one on that as well. I could probably put the Bruiser Crawdad on the back of that would be good for sure. And then we have a little black and blue. I don't know, that's a little creature bait thing. So I think we can catch for what I've seen for me, and this is, oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely catch one on that. So here's, here's what I'm digging. So when you open up one of these boxes, you know, you say to yourself, well, oh, look at there, look at there, jerk bait, little Livingston jerk bait. So honestly, everything in this box, for me, here in January, in Florida, believe it or not, I can use everything in this box. This is all legit stuff for this month, so thank you very much, Mystery Tackle Box, for sending that to me. But you know what time it is now? It is time to now put them to work. Let's see if we can, what we can catch. All right, first little choice here, a little bruiser baits. Crazy Crawl, which I've caught a lot of fish on. You know, I'm gonna flip this at some point, or I could flip it just straight with a two ounce, but it is a really good trailer for the clickbait as well. Look at that. That thing matches well, that little clickbait. Perfect little size right there, half ounce. I'm gonna chuck that around these little cattail clumps and see if we can't catch a big fish. And uh, like I said, I think I could flip it. I know I could and catch them, but um, let's see if we can't catch one on that and then move on to the next bait. Okay. Click bait this time of the year is a, is a really, really good bait to um, catch those position fish. What I mean by that, like this little clump right here. See this, Hillary? The little clump, a couple yep. of little cattails right there on the end. I'm gonna throw right down the edge of it. A lot of times those fish will be positioned right on the end. What I always tell people when I'm fishing a chatter bait, or like I said, this click bait is the slower the better. You don't wanna reel it real fast. Check this thing out in the water, guys. This thing looks really, really good. That clickbait's got a lot of action, a lot of vibration. Oh yeah, it's perfect. That thing looks really, really good in the water, too. There he is. Little one. Yeah, that's on the clickbait. If I can get him in the boat, we can move on to the next lure. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be moving on because we've done, caught one on the clickbait with the bruiser trailer on the back of it. Again, that thing looks pretty sexy, matches up well, so awesome deal. And look, I caught that fish. Now here, here's what's something, Hillary, this is a really good little cubby hole right there for you flipping, but little wall right here like this, the wind's blowing in on it. Just threw that bait right down the edge, worked it right down the edge and caught that fish. Not a real big one, but there's big ones here. And I bet we're gonna catch something big out of that box. Sun's still out pretty bright. Let's see, jerk bait could be good down that edge. That definitely could be good, for sure. 
Uh, this little bait right here, which I know nothing about, it's vertical lures. Interesting. I don't know. Kind of cool. We'll give it a shot. It's got like four legs on it. I bet I could punch that. Oh, yeah. Punching. That's the way to go. I think they'll bite that. It's got the four legs on it. I don't know what kind of action it has in the water, but it's, you know, for flipping, you don't really want a lot of action. Typically in these mats, you just want something that glides around. Let's see what we can do on this. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Oh, watch out, coming at you. Did you see him come up and eat that thing? Yeah. That's crazy. What's he doing? He never even got it. There he is. That didn't take long. <laughs> like three flips. And we've done moved on to the next bay. This might be the fastest MTB challenge in the history of MTB challenges right here. Guys, not a big one, but it doesn't matter because we get to move on. We get to move on. That was cool because I flipped in on the first time and he, and he hit it and missed it. Flipped back in there the second time and he done, he done gave it a little kiss. Okay, well, so again, I think this is the fastest mystery tackle box challenge thus far. I mean, I've made like, I don't know, 20 casts and caught two fish. No big ones yet, but that is coming. That is coming because where we're fishing today and all this kind of stuff. Huh. 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 Yeah, it's big. All right, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? All right, we've done caught one on that. Uh, I can't catch one on the booklet. Jerk bait? Hmm, maybe. Swim bait? I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Let's try the old Weston. The only thing about this, I've never thrown one like this, but it is interesting. And I will say that swim baits in general, guys, baits like that are expensive. Like they're way more expensive than your, your typical deal. Good hooks, okay, that has good hooks on it. I'm liking that. Got a good weight to it. Let's see what it looks like in the water. Let's see if we can't catch a fish on it, right? A little bit different setup here. This is monofilament, P-Line CXX, it's 15 pound monofilament. I like monofilament when I'm fishing these kind of swim baits. And this is a rod that you don't see me throw often. It is the favorite Phantom. This particular one right here is a seven foot medium heavy. It's a nice all purpose rod. I love the, the foam grip on it. It's a really cool rod. And uh, it's just a good all purpose. Uh, it's an all purpose medium heavy is what it is. So this swim bait's not that big. I can get away with it. If this swim bait was any bigger, probably move up to a 7.4 heavy or even a 7.6 heavy. That real lazy wander walk is what we call an S waiver. River to Sea actually kind of was one of the first ones to come out with the production molds of these, but this little Weston looks pretty good in the water. So I think I can wander it down around the edge of these things. I catch a giant doing this. What I'm gonna do with this bait here is I'm, I'm just gonna reel it kind of steady and slow, nothing nothing too fast. You want it to look like a, a bait that really doesn't know there's a fish behind it. If you reel it too fast, they don't seem to um, react to it very well. And you can pause it every once in a while. It kind of has a neutral buoyancy, which is nice. So you can get right next to some cover and just pause it for a split second. Oh yeah, look at this little deal right out here. Oh yeah, there's the cast. That's the cast right there. And try to keep your eye on it too. A lot of times when I'm fishing these swim baits like this that are slow, I wanna try to, I wanna try to see it because a lot of times a fish will be behind it and if you see one come up behind it, you, you can kind of pause it, kind of twitch it. I mean, and, and a lot of, it's not a violent strike, you know? A lot of times on these, these S waiver type baits, that fish will come up behind it, check it out, check it out, and then, you know, you might see him come up behind it and you pause it for a split second and give it a little twitch and doop, he bites it. Pretty cool thing, but it will drive you crazy at times because there are a lot of days where you get them to follow it, but they just won't bite it.
They're laughing at us, Hill. You hear them? You hear them laughing? I just saw something shark up behind this thing and, 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 and just kind of like, kind of roll on it. I'm not sure if it was a bass or, or maybe like a gar or a mudfish, but something came up behind it and kind of turned on it. Right there, right there, right there. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, he's right behind it. I got him, got him. Hey, that was cool. That was cool. That was too big. Come on, dude. Where you be, man? There he is. Hey. Dude, what's up with these little ones today? Oh, they're just weird, man. There's giants in here. I'm telling you there's giants in here. And a swim bait is supposed to catch big ones. But it's not yet. I had him hooked right there on that hook. Man, he wouldn't have got off in a week. Okay. You know what that means. Small one or not. Small one or not, you know what that means, Hill? That means we can move on. All right. We did the Weston. The jig, I'm not ready for the jig yet. Um, hmm. I don't know if I can throw that here. Four to six foot of water. Mm, probably not. Maybe we could do though. That right there. Let's catch something on that. All right, we'll just Texas rig that. You cannot go wrong with a finesse worm. And that little dude right there should catch him pretty good. Now, is that what you use in the canals? Catch a lot of them in there on that, don't you? All right, what I like to do, especially here in Florida, is flip these straight worms, like the finesse worms or the slim shakes. I like to flip them around the isolated stuff. There's one right there. Look. Golly, he was swimming with it. What the heck? <laughs> that was like the first flip, like legit first flip. These uh, Slim Shakes guys come in lots of different colors, but this summer crawl right here is hard to beat. Green pumpkin on the back, little chartreuse on the belly. It just kind of, just kind of catches them, man. I'm just throwing that out there. It just catches them. Oh, there he is. So that, this bait right now is the leader for today. I have made three flips and had two bites. Just a small one, but I don't care because the challenge wasn't to catch a big one. The challenge was to catch a fish on every bait in the box. And so far, we're rolling through them. So Hill, what does that mean? What does that mean? I'm almost done. Means I'm almost done. Time for another one. All right, now we gotta catch one on this dude right here, which I bet we can. I bet we can. All right, I'm gonna rig that up on uh, the rod with that mono. Oh yeah, this shouldn't take long. I think this is one of those, I think this bait, I'm sure, it makes noise. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude, that's cool. You know what? You know what it sounds like? This little bait fish, this little imitation shad, shad thing, sounds like a cricket, dude. I mean, yeah, that's super realistic. It's a cricket shad. That's exactly what this thing is. It's unbelievable. It's like a frog shad, cricket shad thing. Serious. Look at that one. Hey! <laughs> All right. All right. Get a little better. A little better on the cricket jerk bait. All right. See ya. You know what that means? That means we get to move on to the last and final bait, the jig. All right, we're moving on. Now we're moving on to this missile jig here. Ike's missile jig. 
And I've never, um, I've never fished with any of the missile jigs personally. But I know they, they catch fish. And what, what's cool about this subscription box, guys, is it really opens your mind up to some baits that you might not have otherwise tried because I don't think I'd have bought that at a store. I mean, I just never have bought one before. So I see them all over the place. But because it came in the box this time, I'm going to give it a shot. But literally, literally, oh, he got off. Dang it. No, it doesn't count. I'm really mad at you. <laughs> that was super crazy. Like, I literally flipped it in there and was like, there's no way that's a bite. First flip. One got it. It's a little better fish, too. <laughs> and what people are going to think, people are going to think, like, oh, you're on a private lake. No, we're on a public fishery. This is a public lake and they're not biting crazy like hillary's been fishing the whole time and we've caught some big ones on this lake but it's not like every cast i mean like this little challenge thing has been pretty legit wouldn't you agree hill yeah i mean like i literally have stood up and caught one in the first few minutes so let me show you the high stroke so what i'm going to do is i'm going to throw it like to the, see these all right so see these individual patches of cattails right there i'm going to pitch past it okay let it sink down to the bottom it's on the bottom, and I'm going to lift that rod up. Did I get one? No, I got some grass on it. And just kind of lift it up and let it, let it swim up and fall down kind of even with it. So flip past it, let it go to the bottom. And just kind of hop it up and let it flutter down in front of that target. And a lot of times those fish will get it they're not biting it on the bottom it's almost like a swim jig but you're letting it hover hover down in front of their face let's sink down there's one that's how you do it right there <laughs> they like that jig here I got a feeling you could go around this lake and catch them really good on this jig. There we go. Little missile jig. Uh, it's got a good hook in it, which I, I'm digging. And of course, I put that little bruiser bait on the back of it, matched it up real well. Straight 65 pound braid and a favorite flipping stick. Pretty good stuff. Biting. They're biting this thing. All right, so there's one bait left in the in the pack. It is the little green finesse worm. And I know I can catch a small fish on that, but I want to catch a big one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to. There's a decent one right there. Look at that. They're eating a big dude. Hillary, I think we got to put jigs on. Look at that. They're eating the jig real well. That was pretty cool, guys. So hopefully, that was a little, that was okay. Bam, we did it, fellas. We did it. Every bait in this mystery tackle box. Thank you, MTB, for putting some pretty cool stuff in there. Jerk baits, trailers, flipping baits, you name it. We caught something on it. And so, hey, challenge accepted, challenge won what I'm all about right there. So guys, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop a link in the description down below. Be sure to check out your very own mystery tackle box. This is the Elite Box. So we're gonna drop some links down below with the discount code. So give it a shot, check it out, and we will see you soon, guys. Thank you. Boom!